Connor, welcome to Queen's Park Rangers. How does it feel to sign for QPR? Uh, it's an honour and a privilege and I'm delighted to be here. After four years at Liverpool, how important a step is this in your career? Uh, I think it's massive getting like the next step going into playing like men's football and being around like a top squad like this. I can't wait. Is that the big challenge for you because you've been progressing so well at Liverpool? Obviously you've been there since your 16th birthday yeah. so you've progressed steadily but that next step is competitive men's football. Yeah, just like as you say, fighting for three points, it means everything for the team and just really want to get involved in that and show what I can do for the team. How much have you learned while you were at uh, Liverpool? Oh, I've learned so much. I've had a great time there. Unbelievable experiences and yeah, I think this will carry through into the helping QPR. And you played for their 18s, captain their 18s, you were playing for their 23s at a very young age as well. And the next step seemed to be happening for you, but last year a knee injury, did that curtail that development at that time? Yeah, exactly. I was basically going to be going to pre-season to America with the first team and I got unlucky. Uh, actually, the last game of the season we played Brighton, I was going to be involved and I got injured. Obviously, I had to get my uh, knee. So, yeah, it was, it was ups. Like, you know, you have your ups and downs in football and I think I've had my downs and hopefully this is one of my ups now. How big a challenge was that going through that period? Obviously, having done so well to get so close, and then, as you say, it's an up and down industry. How did you handle that setback? Yeah, it was obviously mentally it's very tough at that time because you're just you're like on the brink of being there, being around like these superstars and being around these people. It's just, it was just unbelievable. But like, I think you just you just learn from it. You just you get through it mentally. It makes you stronger. I believe I've come out a stronger person. Like, and I think hopefully I can add to this team. You had plenty of opportunities in terms of where to go next. Why did you feel QPR was the right fit for you? Uh, I just feel like the way the gaffer plays this type of football, he's going to give up kids, uh, sorry, youngsters opportunities. So I just believe, yeah, this is the best place for me. So I was delighted to come. That must be exciting as well to to hear that from the manager that he has got that belief in youngsters. Yeah, he, it's great. He, like he wants to develop youngsters, and he he says has a past history of doing it. So I'm just delighted to be here. So, what type of a player are you? Uh, I'd like to say I'm a good talker, good reader of the game and I'm calm and composed in the ball. As a centre-back, are you primarily a centre-back? Do you have versatility or preferred um, position? Well, basically, I, when I was younger, I played midfield, I played right-back and I played centre-half, but probably my main position is either left-side or right-side centre-half, yeah. And what can QPR fans expect from you? Uh, probably a cliche, but you know, 100% effort. I'm going to give everything for the club and I just can't wait to play in front of them. Brilliant fans. How key is that for you, that, that desire to, to give 100% because players will have good days, they will have bad days, but yeah. fans, particularly QBR fans, always like to see that level of effort as a minimum. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to guarantee. Every game I'm going to give 150% and just basically die for the shirt, die for the team and hopefully we can get the results we need every, every game. And and someone who knows the QPR fans very well, Martin Rowlands, who's helped this move go through. You've been with him this morning. Has he, has he been telling you how to get the QPR fans on site? Yeah, he's been brilliant, I have to say. Since I've come, Martin's been so welcome, and I, I can't say anything better about Martin. He's been brilliant for me. The way he's brought me around the place, showed me, obviously, he's a, bit of a, he's a legend here. So, yeah, it's been great. So, he's been great.